Did you all know that Sarasota is the number one city in the country where people are moving into? I want to talk to you about why it's not just the beaches in today's video, so please stay tuned. Okay, before I dive into today's content, I just want to let you know that I'm now editing my videos. So on the last video I posted, the Las Palmas video, <laughs> the music was so loud, so I apologize. I am just new to the techie stuff. So um, going forward, I'm going to just take the music out. But anyway, let's get on task here. So there's so many reasons why people are moving to Florida, but let's kind of backtrack a little. Going back to COVID, during that time, there were about a thousand people net per day moving to Florida. It sort of calmed down, down to ooh, a whopping about 834 on average net per day moving to the entire state. So we have this whole big state of Florida to choose from. Why are they picking Sarasota specifically? Uh, number one, it's still kind of in that affordability uh, category, although the prices have gone up, the values have gone up since, of course, pre-2020. So it's still affordable. The weather, of course, we're on the Gulf side. We get that Gulf breeze. Sound like a meteorologist now. We get that nice Gulf breeze off of the um, Gulf of Mexico. The sunshine, of course. There's something to be said, although today is not a great example. There's something to be said about living in, in the sunshine state. I mean, truly, we have, I think it's on average 254 sunny days out of the year. So I don't know where else you can get that. And not pay state income tax, okay? So the state income tax is a huge, huge deal. I've never talked to so many Californians in my career than I have in the last, I would say, three years. We have a large influx of Californians coming here. And so I, I, I feel like that was, that was coming. I feel like because of COVID, it kind of exacerbated that and brought a lot of you all here. So we're happy to have you Californians here. And another reason why is because of political reasons, whether we want to talk about it or not, there are a lot of political reasons why people have moved to the state and more specifically Sarasota that I will get into a little bit here. Um, and so I guess that's, that's an over, oh, and I will say too, like our Sarasota Bradenton International Airport has grown exponentially. It's basically doubled in size in the last few years. Um, and, and so we've got really easy access here. And even if you can't get into a flight into Sarasota, you can fly into Tampa. There's also Fort Myers and there's also St. Pete. So the ease of access getting in and out of Sarasota has become easier um, and more in today's video. All right, just to quickly compare our southern neighbor, Fort Myers, to Sarasota, because it's a really close, comparable city to ours. The Fort Myers metro area population grew 8.1% between 2020 and 2022, but new units couldn't keep up. Instead, new units built decreased by 14%, the report found. So the average cost of homeowner insurance is a bit cheaper in, in Fort Myers compared to Sarasota at $2,568. So that's an interesting little fact. Um, you know, I've spent time in Fort Myers and it's, it's a different feel than Sarasota. Like when you go to Fort Myers Beach, it's like more like the more commercialized, I would say, like the, from the restaurants and the shops, it's more commercial, like big names. Whereas Sarasota, I find to be more like boutique, and I would almost classify it as a little bit more affluent in general and also like more of the mom and pop shops like island side. I mean, yes, we have Starbucks and we do have a few, but generally speaking, it's definitely more locally owned and operated, especially island side. And you get a just it's just a different feeling, um, especially on St. Armand Circle, where my office is. It's definitely more of a European flair of uh, restaurants and shops. We have Greek, we have Turkish, we have Colombian, we have a, a wide variety of uh, just local places that are really unique to Sarasota, which I think is really fun and interesting. So, you know, it's so beautiful here. There's so many lakes and preserves and just bird watching is great. Animal and wildlife here is wonderful as well. And it's not too far from like Arcadia. We go to the rodeo. I mean, there's just so many, like I could go on and on about the activities here in Sarasota that makes it so unique and different. Not to mention opera and the performing arts. And again, like I could go, I could probably make this video like a few hours, but who has time for that? <laughs> um, anyway, so keep an eye on our upcoming content. We're gonna, we missed the end of the month market update. 
for September because we were in Europe, so I couldn't catch up to getting up to speed on the market stats last month, but we, were, we are gonna post one for end of October, so please look out for that. In general, the market's definitely picking up here in October. If you're on the fence about starting to list property, I would strongly encourage you to talk to me about it. If you have a home in Manatee, Sarasota, or Charlotte counties, we're starting to, the phone's starting to ring, we're starting to get action and people, you know, wanting to own and live here. And if they don't, maybe they want to get something ready for a season and to rent it out because there's also a really, really strong rental market here, particularly in the season, which is January, February, March, April, our high season. So lots and lots of reasons why people buy or move away or want to upgrade or downsize here in Sarasota. Um, things are constantly ebbing and flowing. So I'd love for you to reach out. I'm here as a resource for you. And again, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. Call me anytime, 941-544-7690.